Welcome to Electron Online. Our next topic is solving linear inequalities. What does that mean? Here's an inequality where 2x plus 3 is less than 7. Solving a linear inequality is solving for all the values of x that satisfy that inequality. So it's not just a single value, it's a multitude of values and we need to find all of them. It's usually a range, x between this value and that value or something like that. So here are specific steps that we need to follow to do that. The first step is to find what we call the critical points. To do that, we're going to take our inequality and turn it into an equation by making the inequality sign into an equal sign. So we're going to set 2x plus 3 equal to 7 and solve that equation. That will give us the critical point, the dividing line between the region where x satisfies inequality and x does not satisfy inequality. So here we solve this equation. So we end up with 2x is equal to 7 minus 3 by moving the 3 to the other side. 2x equals 4, divide both sides by the coefficient, and we get x is equal to 2. This is called the critical point. Now the next step tells us to place that on the number line. So what we're going to do next is draw a number line. Here's the number 0, Three, 1, 4, and we have negative 1, negative 2, and so forth. So we find the critical point. Now notice, since the inequality sign does not have an equal sign associated with it, the critical point is not part of the solution, which means we're going to draw a circle right there and not fill it in. 2 is not part of the solution. But it does divide the number line into two regions. Region number one, which is to the left of the critical point, and region number two, which is to the right of the critical point. Now the next step is we're going to check the regions. We're going to check each of the regions to see if the region satisfies the inequality. So let's pick a point. We're going to pick the point number zero. So we do a test point, and we're going to test that inequality using this test point. So test number one. For region number one, we're going to plug zero in for x and see if it satisfies inequality. So two times zero plus three less than question mark, because we don't know, we're trying to figure that out. Is that less than seven? Well, let's see here, two times zero is zero, and three is indeed less than seven, that checks. So this is a true statement. That means when I plugged in a number from the left side, region number one, into our inequality, it satisfied that inequality, which then says that all these values to the left of the number two satisfies inequality. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a thicker line here with an arrow, which indicates that all the values on the number line to the left of the critical point satisfied inequality. Now let's try a point from the other side. So we're going to check test number two. And here we're going to plug in another value, let's say the value number 3. Let's plug in 3 in for x and see what we get. So 2 times 3 plus 3 is at less than question mark than 7, because we don't know, we're trying to find out. 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, so 6 plus 3 less than 7 question mark, and so is 9 less than 7 question mark, and the answer is no. 9 is larger than 7, it's not less than 7, so therefore it does not satisfy the inequality, which means the whole region to the right side of the critical point does not satisfy the inequality, which means that all the values that are less than 2 satisfy the inequality, none of the values that are greater than 2. So the answer then to our, answer to our question, the answer is that all the x's less than 2 satisfy the inequality, so therefore this is the limit. All values for x less than 2 will satisfy this number. Now there are different ways of writing that. In some cases you can say that the solution is all x's such that x is less than 2, or sometimes we write it as a region. Another way of writing that is to say that negative infinity is smaller than x, which is smaller than the number 2. We don't put the include sign in there. Oop, oop, I'm missing something here. So negative infinity is smaller than x, smaller than 2. So 2 or x lies between negative infinity and the number 2. Or sometimes we can do it in this notation, that negative infinity to the number 2 and not including the number 2. 
So these are various ways in which we can write the answer. Simply that x is less than 2, or we're looking for all x's such that x is less than 2, or we can say that x is somewhere between negative infinity and 2, or we can put it like that, where it's a region on the number line from negative infinity to the number 2. The parenthesis means that the endpoints are not included. And that's how we find, and that's how we solve the inequality 2x plus 3 is less than 7.